From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. This reaction from government ministers to a couple of matters. Education Minister Lloyd on that stabbing incident at the government high school yesterday. Of course people are upset, and I can understand it. We are upset. We are deadly upset about what has transpired. But at the same time, we have hundreds of students in there who are taking their exams, have taken the exam, that we also have to ensure their safety. The minister is calling the incident unfortunate, but is maintaining that despite it, schools are safe. Police continue to investigate the matter. They're looking for at least two students who may have left the scene before officers arrived. This is Labor Minister Folks reacting to that move by the Atlantis Resort, the termination of 700 employees. I know that those families um, um, must must be going through through a lot of a lot of worry at this time. The government wishes to empathize with all 700 of, of those families, of those employees, and to say that we're doing everything in our power. To, to ease the burden. Union officials say some of the employees will welcome the move, but not everybody will be happy about it. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Works Minister Bannister on how many illegal structures they have to deal with in the farm shanty town in Abaco and why. Almost 200 of them. None of them could stand up to hurricane enforcement. They're all built in breach of the code. They're built in breach of the law. None of them have permits, and if you have a strong wind, they'll all be gone. We will be spending your money to rescue people in the midst of a hurricane if there's another hurricane in Abaco. The minister says it's not up to him to take care of persons displaced by that action. No other deaths reported, but there were 53 more confirmed coronavirus cases in the country for Monday, including an eye-opening 17 in Cat Island. 48 persons remain in hospital, six in the ICU. Parliament now going through the process of extending the emergency powers orders to August 13th. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, breezy, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 71 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. Marine advisories in place into the nighttime hours. Winds gusting to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. The next tide is a low around 9 o'clock this evening. Thursday's forecast, mostly cloudy. Showers are likely. It'll be windy. Highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that will get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World news headlines, diplomatic efforts continue to try and get a ceasefire in place in the Middle East. The United Nations now looking for ways to end the conflict between Israel and Palestine, now into its second week. India reporting a single-day record for coronavirus deaths today, a total of 4,529. That's more than any country. There is some positive news coming out of India. Confirmed cases continue to decline. Drama in Beijing, the Chinese capital, after a skyscraper there started to shake for no apparent reason. Chinese officials are trying to get to the bottom of it. No one was hurt. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. On TV, there's Major League Baseball and Soccer. The NBA playoffs continue. The West play in games tonight. They'll be on TV. Jazz and the Marlins in Philadelphia again tonight. John Quill Jones and the Connecticut Sun in action tonight at home against the Fever. They're 2-0 and on the season, and the Tribune will have coverage in Thursday sports. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.